Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Mac Attack. Uh, it's Wednesday. It's a beautiful day. Got to enjoy some college basketball last night. Uh, and it was good to see fans in the stands. Uh, watched Kansas and Michigan State for a little bit. And Kansas is looking good. Uh, watched Duke and Kentucky after that. And I tell you what, those are the two best, two of the best teams in the country. I'm not going to say the two best teams, but they're two of the best teams in the country. And that's saying a lot since both of them missed the tournament last year. Uh, I caught maybe five minutes of the Siena St. Bonaventure game. looked a little sloppy, and the feed wasn't the greatest. But it was good to see uh, my local team from back home, uh, Siena, uh, play. Yeah, I look forward to seeing them some more on ESPN Plus whenever they're playing. But uh, Duke looks very good, uh, and I think... I'm hoping they send Coach K out uh, with a bang this year, uh, win a national championship. Uh, it'd be good to see. The uh, college football playoff rankings came out uh, in between the Kansas-Michigan State-Duke-Kentucky game. I was a little disappointed with the committee. I think leaving Penn State out just does no justice. Uh, you got to have them in the rankings somewhere. The, their schedule has just been – crazy uh they've won some big games granted they've lost some too but you know their losses have been fairly close their uh the one bad one i think was that big nine overtime loss to illinois where nobody thinks they should have lost to illinois but you know what they beat auburn they've beaten uh they beat wisconsin uh, i mean granted wisconsin is not the same team as they are now they're but wisconsin's a very good team right now but I, I think I think Penn State needs to be in the rankings and uh, I was listening to Dusty Dvorak and Danny Cannell this morning on the way into work and I think Dusty hit it uh, hit it right on the nose as, as far as the way these rankings are being uh, presented to us it's all for entertainment folks because at the end of the year if Cincinnati is undefeated uh, for those final rankings, they're going to be in. So everything's going to take care of itself. So I don't expect uh, I don't expect Oregon and Oregon or Ohio State to be there at the end of the year. Uh, one of them will probably get bumped either from a loss or just from poor play. Something's going to happen. And they're going to get bumped. Cincinnati's going to get pushed in. Just because they've just, they've beaten everybody, uh, I know their schedule is not the greatest, but you know what? They can't control that. They're moving to the Big Twelve. They're going to control it for the future. But right now, uh, they're in the American. They can only beat who they play. That's just the way it is. So I look forward to the rankings come out in the next few weeks. Uh, I did also did not agree with the way uh, Michigan and Michigan State were ranked. Michigan State beat Michigan. They should be ahead of them. That's just the way it is. Granted, yeah, they lost this last week. But, you know, uh, I, I just I don't think Michigan should be ahead of Michigan State after getting beat by them. Uh, I mean, look at Oregon, Ohio State. Uh, Oregon beat Ohio State at the beginning of the year. Oregon is ranked ahead of Ohio State. It's just the way it goes. Head-to-head -head matters. So... Um, but, yeah, I, I think Oklahoma, if they keep winning, they're going to have to be considered uh, pretty hard, especially if they beat Oklahoma State in Bedlam, uh, in that Bedlam matchup, because Oklahoma State is ranked number 10 right now. So I think if Oklahoma wins out, they should be in. That's just, just what I think. That's my opinion. Uh, I think they're a much different team with Caleb Williams, a quarterback, than Spencer Rattler. Uh, from what I've heard, uh, Spencer Rattler is going to be leaving regardless. Whether he transfers to another school or he goes to the NFL draft, he's done at Oklahoma. Unless Caleb Williams gets hurt, something you know freak, freakish happens. Caleb Williams is the quarterback at Oklahoma and will be for a little while now. Um, I see that program doing great with him at the helm. Uh, Lincoln Riley always finds a way to uh, develop quarterbacks or br bring in transfer quarterbacks from other schools anyway. 
but uh, he does well with them. Spencer Rattler to me, um, I don't know how to how to tell what kind of player he is because last year he was above average. He wasn't. I don't think he was great, but I think he was above average quarterback last year. He just had a lot of talent around him. Eh, Oklahoma, you're always going to have a lot of talent. That's my opinion for today. I uh, look forward to posting more later. Um, but make sure you follow my YouTube page, The Mac Attack. Thank you.